it's me, your old pal Danny Classic, and we're back again with another episode! I was hoping for some more wrestling figures. Well, today, you're in luck, Jess! Oh, yeah? Absolutely, because today we do have a wrestling figure on the show! All right! That's right, and we've got figures featuring two famous boxers, one fictional and one very, very real. That sounds awesome. It's about time we got back into combat sports. I agree. And the best thing about these figures, they're all made by the same company. Okay, wait a minute. There's something you're not telling me, Gorilla. What company made these figures? <clears throat> Migo. What was that? It's Migo. Ah, oh, come the fuck on! You said we were done with Migo! I never said we were completely done. Now, we're doing another Migo episode, so deal with it! Okay, I'll do another Migo episode on one condition. What's that? That favor you owe me? Okay, what? Well, it's payback time. Oh, whatever, let's get to the review! In the past three episodes featuring Migo, we took a look at some vintage figures, some revival figures, and then compared the two, seeing how they stacked up. Today, we're going to take a look at some more revival figures, specifically those that would belong in a ring. Migo's revival line, for all its problems, brought an eclectic variety of characters to the table. Today, we'll be looking at three figures that would be more comfortable in a ring instead of a sitcom. First up is Sylvester Stallone as Rocky Balboa, a figure that I'm surprised Migo did not take advantage of in 1976. I'm sure some booger eater would argue that before Star Wars, nobody knew movie characters would make any money. TV characters were better because they were on every week. I've heard that before and I'd love to see those assholes justify the Walton's Mego line. I mean, who the fuck wanted these more than say figures of Jaws, the Magnificent Seven, or Rocky? Anybody? Anyway, let's take a look at Rocky Balboa by Mego. Okay, it's the Rocky 8-inch action figure by Mego, the 14 points of articulation, official limited edition action figure with original detail and quality, whatever that means, and uh, Marty Abrams presents Mego, and there he is. Rocky Balboa, as you can tell, it's not a bad likeness of Sylvester Stallone. It looks like they actually got the, uh, the the rights to use his likeness as he's on the back side as well. Um, but take a look back at the front. You got the movies um, set up there, and it looks like he comes with some gloves. Um, it's too bad they could not have given him an action feature. I'm assuming he doesn't have one. Um, I would hoping if he did, it would say something somewhere on the box. It does not. Um, the old uh, boxing figures, the old uh, fist fighters, if you will, had a had an action feature on those. I wish I had one to fucking to, to show you. I don't. I'm just gonna spoil that right now. Don't expect any vintage figures today. But let's take a look at the back of the box. Uh, we have the Rocky logo uh, proudly displayed. We have uh, Rocky standing on the steps of the art museum in Philadelphia with the skyline in the background. Um, kind of faded out there. Eight inch action figure, 14 points of articulation, official edition action figure with original detail and quality. Um, um, and then we have our, our typical blurb here, which we have read before, where Marty Ebrams is called the father of the action figure. That's fucking highly debatable. Um, we have the, the legal mumbo jumbo, uh, the licensing and, and horse shit, uh, 2019. All rights reserved. Um, so yeah, here he is. It's, he's fucking Rocky. Um, no vintage figures here, so let's just get him the fuck out of the box. So here he is, it's Rocky Balboa outside of the package. He has his little robe on, it's tied in a nice, neat little bow. He also comes with boxing gloves. Um, we're gonna see how they fit on him here in a minute. Um, they're, they're split here so that they, looks like they'll fit pretty well. Hopefully um, that works out. Um, but let's take a look. He's got uh, white boxing boots, no uh, goofy rubber sneakers here. Um, and on the back, we have the Shamrock Meats Incorporated logo and the Italian Stallion. Um, 
awesome, awesome robe, nice and silky, uh, cool material, well-made stuff. Um, I'm, you know what? I'm uh, so far so good. This is a pretty good-looking figure. Um, this is a uh, and a good-looking sculpt. Not bad, not bad. It looks like him. It looks like fucking. It looks like Stallone. It looks like Stallone in in Rocky. Um, let's get this uh, this robe off and see uh, how how much better it can get here. Let's take a look at his trunks. He's stamped on his back for some reason. Um, could put that on the ass, right? That would that wouldn't have been that'd have been a fucking bridge too far to fucking put that on the big god. It's like he has tattoos. Jesus Christ. I know, I know. These are designed for fucking booger eaters to keep them in the box um, so they don't really care. Um, I'm going to get his fucking gloves on and see what he looks like uh, in, in, uh, in fighting action. All right, so here he is with the gloves. He's throwing the jab with the right hand, as he would if you well remember that Rocky is a southpaw lefty. Um, and and goddamn, dude, he looks fucking cool. This is a great figure. What the fuck? Oh my god, there, there. I do have a couple gripes, but other than that, dude, these the fucking trunks look great. The boots look great. Um, I can't say enough good things about this figure. The sculpt looks great. The body looks great. Um, with the exception of this fucking bullshit. Um, dude, this is a fucking great, great figure. And for what, $12.99 or whatever they fucking, what they were doing at retail for these things. I got this at my local comic book store. I just pre-ordered it out of the, out of the previews catalog. And it's like, yeah, let me get that fucking Rocky Balboa. Dude, they should, dude, I would do a whole fucking, they should fucking, just drop these shitty licenses, this bullshit with this fucking uh, cheers and, and 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 whatever the fuck that they're up to, and and do do Rocky get fucking get him to a Clubber Lang, fucking Ivan Drago, uh, fucking uh, Apollo Creed, um, fucking do do everybody, do everybody, do fucking twelve figures. Who cares? Do do multiple Rockies, give them more trunks and shit. You get one with like a beat up fucking face and he's like, oh, cut me, Mick, cut me. Like, god damn, dude, this would be a fucking rad line. Okay, I'm impressed. Fucking Migo gets points on the, on the Rocky figure. I am super stoked that I have this now. I can't fucking put it down. Um, yeah, can't say enough good things, so let's, let's fucking I'll move on and quit while we're ahead. Next up is a boxer who actually existed in real life. And many would argue he's the greatest to ever compete in the sport. But no one can argue that he's one of the most successful and world-renowned champions the sport of boxing has ever and probably will ever see. That's right, it's Muhammad Ali, brought back from the vintage line. Ali was quite a popular figure for Migo back in the old days, and as the company started to course correct in the revival, we saw a repro of the greatest of all time. So let's take a look and Muhammad Ali by Migo. The champ is here! The champ is here! The champ is here! There it is! It's fucking Muhammad Ali! In all of his Migo glory, ages, eight and up, eight inch action figure, 14 points of articulation, official limited edition action figure with original detail and quality mine, number 6,294 out of 10,000, um, as these figures have gotten better, um, th they have gotten to be a little bit more hard to come by. And so you might have to go online and pay a fucking scalper the extra for these things. Or, you know, try to pre-order it through your local comic book shop, your local collectible store. Um, try to figure out a way to fucking get these things um, without having to pay a little more than retail. Um, I, I, I didn't pay that much more for this one. Uh, got it just recently. Got the nice picture of Muhammad Ali on the back. These all come with the, uh, the, the uh, uh, trivia question on the back. Uh, what medal did Muhammad Ali receive in 2005? And that would be the uh, Presidential Medal of Freedom. Um, that would be under President George W. Bush, in, if, I'm, if I'm correct, right? Yeah, yeah, he was president in 2005, I guess. Anyway, um, and so inside you have, uh, there he is, the champ, it's Muhammad Ali. Is it a good likeness? Uh, yeah. yeah, I'd say so. I think it looks all right. It's not bad. 
not bad. There's, there's, there's his real face. Here's a picture. They actually paid for the fucking, the, the rights to, to, to fucking, uh, um, to do it. Um, so, so yeah. Um, I don't think it's so bad. Maybe they based it on the old one. And I know, I'm sorry guys, I wanted to get the original one to compare it to, and this is where my fucking anger would have come in. Um, but I couldn't, honestly, could not afford to get one um, on time to make the video. And um, I really wanted one. I'm still going to look for one. I want an original one with the with the fist fight in action. Because that one came with an action feature. It wasn't too goddamn hard to add a fucking action figure in these modern figures. It's 40 fucking years later. We could have fucking just put the action feature in there. You're already reusing the sculpts on a lot of these things. You may be shrinking them down, changing the colors up a little bit. But for the most part, pretty much the same fucking figure that we had in the 1970s. The, the quality of the figures is pretty good. Like, they're pretty sturdy. But the fucking action figure was the best part about these things. And without the action feature, I guess he's all right. But Jesus Christ, dude. Just knowing that there was a figure 40 years ago made by the same fucking company... It, and the other figure's better. It's just bigger. Oh, this one comes with a belt. Comes with a belt. Let's let's fucking take a look and see what he looks like on the inside. No vintage figures today. Just new shit. All right. So here he is in his robe, looking fucking sharp. It's Muhammad Ali. Um, he, I like the robe. I like the robe. I like the design. I like the, uh, you know, the, it's printed on the back, Muhammad Ali. Um, the, the little ribbon um, that's the, <laughs> the belt of the robe or whatever. Speaking of belts. Oh, here's the championship belt. Um, man, I thought this was at least had some sort of... And this is a very thin plastic. This might as well be packaging. This is made out of the same shit that the fucking bubbles made out of. Um, it might as well be garbage. Um, it's cheaper than a fucking Happy Meal toy. You might as well not have had it in there. This is ridiculous. There's money that could, like if you couldn't do it right, you shouldn't do it at all. The, uh, the, the heavyweight boxing title does not say the greatest on the, uh, on the, on the front plate there. Um, and it, it connects in the back. Oh my God, this is so fucking cheap. This is so fucking cheap. I, I can't, I, I can't begin to fucking uh, express how, how fucking cheap this is. It should, it, it shouldn't even came with it. Same gloves as Rocky, same gloves. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking uh, get him, get him all uh, hooked up with his, with his fucking gear. And we're gonna find out fucking what he looks like on the, God damn it, I swear to God, I swear. Oh my, Really? Is this in a fucking knot? <sighs> no. Okay. Oh, well, look at that! Look at his back! It looks fine! Nothing there! <sighs> oh, come on. Fucking that Rocky figure. God damn it, dude! Like, it was, it was fucking so close. It was 99... 99% there. Um, I'm going to get these gloves on, and we're going to see fucking what he looks like with the gloves on. There he is, throwing the jab. Um, wow, very cool figure. The gloves slide right on. It's very easy to use. Um, it's a fun figure to, to screw around with. It looks like he's got the same goddamn shorts that Rocky's got on. Um, same boots. Uh, yeah, so they, you know, they, they reuse stuff, and that's fine. It's fine. Um, my my big problem with Migo is in some some of the fucking purists are gonna are gonna shit on me for this, but I don't I don't really fucking care. Um, okay, so in order to do certain poses or whatever, like you try to be like, oh, I want my I want his hand out like this, um, and it's you gotta like fiddle with it or whatever, and you feel like you're gonna break it because there's a little fucking like elastic line on the inside. I feel like we could make the transition to the ball jointed figure and everything would be fine. Um, since we're already taking away fucking action features that were the in the original fi in the original figures to begin with, you might as well just move on 
and make a ball jointed fi figure and it would probably be cheaper it'd be less complex that'd be fucking sure and uh and they'd be they'd be they'd be sturdier not that this isn't a sturdy figure it's a pretty good figure and and for what it, it cost at retail not scalper price but retail price it's not bad it's not bad i wish it had a fucking action feature but otherwise pretty cool buy i'm i'm not fucking necessarily upset with it but there are some fucking minuses that, that we had to address and um but no cool figure all all together so when i heard about this um i was pretty excited um when i saw it in person holy shit what the fuck happened here Good lord, I know, I know Andre the Giant wasn't a fucking attractive man necessarily, but god damn it. Like, is this going to get any better when I get it out of the fucking box? And, and, and is there some sort of fucking optical illusion that's going on to make this thing look so fucking ridiculous and sad? This is a terrible fucking looking figure. And yes, I know. And because it's a fucking wrestling collectible, the booger eaters fucking have made this thing mad scarce. And uh, because it's a collectible, look at the, it is numbered. Look at the number, 4,542. I'm sure this belt is as much of a piece of shit as the one that came with Muhammad Ali. And look at this fucking chair. Like, okay, I, I get it, he's big. He's bigger than your average fucking man. Um, and maybe a fucking folding chair looked like that next to Andre the Giant. But that's not what a folding chair looks like next to another Mego figure. And if I'm gonna collect them all and line them all up, this chair is completely out of fucking place. It's like a child's chair. So it looks like this big fucking galoot is carrying around a child's chair and the money that you spent to put all this extra horse shit in the box with these things could have been spent on licensing out other fucking, you know, people or, or getting fucking better goddamn action features and shit like that. Let's look at the back. Like, I've got a picture of Arnold the Giant from the 1970s because they weren't going to fucking shell out any money to World Wrestling Federation or World Wrestling Entertainment, as it's fucking called now, to get a, you know, a picture in this fucking gear. And a, a nice fucking doing the winged eagle uh, fucking Mego belt right there. <laughs> fucking hilarious. Um, official edition action figure with original detail and qual What the fuck does that mean? Original detail and quality of what? Of it? Like, there never has been one before. There's never been a fucking... Uh, uh, an Andre the Giant Mego figure before, like, uh, aside from maybe a, a fucking custom or two. Uh, but, but an official one, no. Um, so, yeah. It, the design's okay on the, on the package. I don't mind it. The fucking... There's your stripes, your Mego stripes. They love those, um... We have our blurb and everything. It's me! It's Marty Mego! Ha ha ha! I've got all your money! Ha ha ha! Um, and so there he is. Let's get this fucking stupid goddamn thing out of the box so we can be further disappointed! So here he is. It's Arnold the Giant with his little. Playing the fucking chair like a guitar, like he's La Parka in fucking 1999. Does it even? No, it doesn't do anything. Um, this belt is, get this fucking, this thing is goddamn atrocious. Get this thing off of him. Um, it's, it's garbage. It's fucking, it's like packaging. It's fucking garbage. There he is in his little fucking one strap singlet. Um, that's pretty cool, I guess. Look at his arms. <laughs> um, no, uh, let's. Oh, God damn it, the body. Um, he looks like, um, yeah, I don't know. Fucking make up your own goddamn whatever to say about it. Like, it, it speaks for itself. I mean,. It, I'm not a fucking uh, expert on art, or uh, even though I do have an art degree uh, in the, uh, the or or sculpting, um, or especially sculpting action figures. I've never I've never done that before, so I don't know what necessarily goes into it. But but um, what 
in the holy fuck happened to Andre the Giant. We made, you know, and and, and and even though I don't like to admit it, everybody knows I'm I'm fucking, you know, lifelong fucking wrestling fan. Love pro wrestling. Love Andre the Giant. Um and and while this kind of looks like Andre the Giant, it kind of looks like shit. Like, what the fuck? This looks like somebody was sculpting it and they kept changing their fucking mind on what they wanted to do. Like, maybe if I, maybe if I, I move or, or I push it and I, oh, oh, uh, oh, 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 no, I only have a couple minutes left before I have to turn it in. Oh, well, there it is. Send this off to the fucking, uh, to the manufacturers in China um, and make this hideous fucking monster onto the giant. And I know, I know. The way he looks, it, it's probably really difficult to sculpt the fucking Andre the Giant figure to in, a, in this tiny scale, this eight inch scale. I mean, goddamn. And, and with the, you know, and, and people would take a look at the Mattel figures and be like, well, you know what? Those are expensive. Those are $20 figures. This isn't a $20 figure. Three and three quarter inches, fucking Andre the Giant by Super Seven um, Reaction. Um, I think these things are a big fucking ripoff uh, to begin with, but I got it so I can show you what a good sculpt of an Andre the Giant figure looks like. Look, I'm opening a reaction figure. No one's ever done that before because they're made to be kept in the box. And here he is, fucking Andre the Giant. That's how you sculpt Andre the Giant's fucking likeness. Here he is in the one strap fucking singlet looking like a goddamn boss. Fucking great goddamn. Look at how little. Hey, look at it. I'll hold him all in my hand. He's so tiny. He's so little. And look at the great detail on the fucking face, on the sculpt, on the goddamn body. Obviously, we're using some new parts. I don't know who got the fat body. Um, and the long legs or whatever. I, they tried. They gave it a fucking. They gave it the old college try, um, but they failed. They came up fucking short. Let's take a look. Fucking side by side. Fucking this Andre and that Andre. Which one is better? Um, this guy right here. This is the better one. Uh, Migo, you, you done fucked up. As we dig deeper into the new Mego line and compare these figures to what came before and what the other guys in the industry have been doing, we keep coming up with the same mixed bag. Some of these are okay, but when we start making comparisons to other figures, even other Mego figures, it becomes clear that these are mostly poor figures that were an excellent idea on paper, but a failure in execution. Come on, Gorilla, we made a deal. I know, but it's extremely crazy. I know, it's mentally irregular, right? Yeah? But it makes all the sense in the world. Now you owe me a favor. I know, but uh, when did you think of this? Whenever the first Mego video was. Oh, this is very crazy, Jess. Look, Gorilla, now look. When you beat me in our last match, you won by one point. You beat me by one point. That's very hard for a man of my intelligence to handle. Oh, is it? But didn't you say that after I beat you, you learned how to live with it? I lied. <laughs> oh, you lied. Oh, so now you want to prove it to yourself. That's right. No, YouTube. Oh, this is, this is on YouTube. I know, but nobody watches your channel anyway, so we might as well be by ourselves. <laughs> oh, fuck you. Anyway, age before beauty. Whatever you say, gorilla. Okay, I do all the work. I tell you, Jess, you better go slow, because these toys ain't young in springtime anymore. They're still new enough for me to whip your butt, Gorilla. Here, Jess, since I won last time, I'll let you pick. I like the look of that handsome fellow on the right. Okay, I got the beard guy. I don't know how you plan on beating me, you taught me everything you know. Almost everything. Now you gotta remember, you karate fight great, but I'm a great karate fighter. Are you ready? Absolutely. You know something, Gorilla? It's too bad these toys gotta get old. <laughs> I just keep punching open box figures, Jess. 
You want to ring the bell? Okay. Ding, ding. Ha, ha. Come on, gorilla. You know, you move pretty good for an old guy. Ha, ha. Come on, gorilla. Ha. Look, a fly! What? Got you now, fucker! 